Hi, it's Lucy. This is a demonstration of how to do a plank and several types of push-ups taken from one of my live online exercise classes. I'll show you how to use all the right areas of your body and stay away from areas you don't want to use so you don't injure yourself or cause the wrong kind of pain. I'll also give you a little secret on how to make the push-up easier by using two key areas of the body. Give me a nice long plank. Go ahead and start on your knees today because we'll do a couple sets. So in this plank, I'm going to review. The back of the head is lifted, moving away from the hips. The shoulder blades are down towards the hips and pulling away from each other. The heels of your hands are right below your shoulders. Your ribs and your belly are up. So ribs and belly up. Tailbone is down. So I've got a little tightness right at the top of my hamstring, bottom of my glute, got a little squeezing there. And I've got a lot of squeezing here right at the lower belly. Lower belly squeeze. And I'm actually pushing into the mat and almost trying to push that mat away from me this way. So here's the plank. And if this is no problem for you, you want to take it up onto the toes. And all that I just said remains the same. Head moving away from the hips, shoulder blades moving down and away from each other, ribs and belly button moving back. Strong pull in at the lower abs, strong push up from the backs of the knees and the, and the uh, femur bones. And then let's take it down for a rest. And then we'll take it into a push up next. All right, so here we are from the hands and knee position tabletop into the plank, whether you're on your knees or your toes, you take it to your level. Now from the plank position, strong belly, strong legs, take your hands apart. And I'm pretty small, and in order for my hands to be in the right spot, they need to be wider than my mat. So take, basically my thumbs are on my mat and everything else is not. And if I'm gonna do a chest push-up, when I bend my elbows to 90 degrees and I can look, and I can see that the elbow is essentially lined up right over the wrist. That's how you know your hands are where they should be. Hopefully you started with me. Go to your failure. I'm a little shaky today, aren't I? And then sit back, stretch out your hips and your low back with the child's pose. Next thing is the tricep push-up. So we go into that beautiful plank that we just had. Heels of the hands, under the shoulders, ribs up, belly up, tailbone down, long neck, shake it out. And then we don't move the hands. So if you're down on your knees, that's fine. I'm going to be up on my toes, and we keep the elbows in at the sides, and we slide the upper arm down the side of the body. And we keep trying to pull those shoulder blades down towards the hips, and it feels like we're pushing the ground away from us, up and away, up and away. Straighten out those legs, picking up the thigh bones, the femur bones, to the sky, and that really helps to lift the body. Go to your own failure. Failure is when you can't do another repetition with good form.